Welcome to my channel Flowworks. Today I'm going to show you how to set up S3 static website hosting. So I've logged into my S3 dashboard. Let us go ahead and create a bucket. Let us call it static web demo from static web galaxy demo let us call it because bucket names are universal we just need to be careful in choosing our bucket name and i'm going to enable i don't need any of these things just click on next and i just want to make public access given to this bucket so click on next and create bucket so now my bucket has been created i need to upload items or objects into my bucket now so i'm just going to open that bucket click on upload and add some files there so let me go ahead and add index.html error.html and give public permissions for this objects as well so click on next next and upload so i need some images also for my uh, website so i'm just going to create a folder which is going to be called as images and i'm going to click on save and I'm going to add some images to my images folder. So here you see here there is images and I need my water droplet and I'm just going to click on next, add public permissions, click on next, next and upload. So now we have uploaded all the necessary files for our static website. So the only thing that is pending is going ahead and configuring this as a website now. Although I will have a public URL for my index.html, if I click on this, it will give me an URL, but you can see here this is accessible through an ugly URL S3 dot blah blah blah. We don't want that. We want our bucket name as the website name. So for doing that, go to management, uh, not under management, go to properties. Under properties, you will have something called a static web hosting here. And all you have to do is click on this, use this bucket to host a website. I'm just going to copy this URL and index.html if you remember we also uploaded an error.html that's it folks once i click on save here we are almost set and ready to go here click on save and all our website is ready and all you have to do is go to open a new browser window put my url here and press enter voila there is my website and if you remember, I have uh, error.html also. So if somebody is trying to hack something, let us say that is they're looking for a page which is not there, and automatically they will be redirected to my error.html page. We don't have to do anything, just upload the page, and you say this is my 404 page for anything that is not available there. That is how simple it is in Amazon S3 to create your own static website. In the next video, I'll show you how to point your route 53 to your static website so that you can have your nice little url which you can publish to your friends thanks for watching if you like it subscribe to our channel and happy learning thank you